Hi, hello, welcome on in. I'm Pengu. Uh, welcome back to episode two of our Coral Island playthrough here on YouTube. So for part one, we got through the first three days of the game and spent most of our time uh, meeting all of the townies, exploring the town, uh, and clearing up the farm. So I guess we'll continue doing a bit more of the same, but I think we have met most of the townies, so uh, we can start making some progress on these quests, I guess. So what do we have here? We have starting out, harvest your first crop, visit the carpenter, gift it to someone, donate an item to the museum. We can do that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let you in on a secret YouTube. This is my second time recording this because the first time I messed up recording the sound audio and the first time I had a really good reaction to that crow <laughs> eating my crops. I was very upset about it. But I'm not a good actor, so I couldn't I couldn't replicate it the second time. But <laughs> needless to say, I am very upset about that crow eating my crops. And um, I don't know how to make a scarecrow, but I guess we'll do that. <laughs> okay, so let's harvest, water these crops. Yeah, I made it like five minutes into recording, and then I realized I messed up the audio. So we started again, but it's okay. Um, you, you all didn't miss so much, and except for my really good crow reaction. Rip. Alright, let us go into town and visit the carpenter. You're not welcome here. Stuff is happening. Hello, all. Passionate residents of Starlet Town, all this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen. <laughs> I think I will. And please do elaborate, Ms. Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. Karen's personally, really? These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. This photographer is like really going all in here. <laughs> I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. <laughs> but, but like an oxymoron. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty... If I may, red shirt. <laughs> Excuse me? We can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Ah yes, the, the corporification of Coral Island, I'm sure is what our residents are looking for. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil? Expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach? See where I'm going here? That doesn't... You could paint a better picture, Karen, come on. I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see, creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you will all see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier, inside fish and chips. F fish and sips. Enjoying life. Red shirt? <laughs> that is the correct response, Frank. Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this, uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world-famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. I feel like Kara needs to read the room. And by bailout, you mean drilling around the island? Grunts. <laughs> Pufferfish's investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math, it'll trickle down to you people. You people! <laughs> that is the way to win over a crowd. Call them you people. Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Wow, Connor is so diplomatic. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. Yikes. 
Karen could have handled that better. I do like Karen's shoes, those blue pumps, and I like her hair. <laughs> Pingu, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Why do you know me? I've been here for like two days, three days. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. I got that. Thank you. Pengu, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, Pengu? As in Pengu Pengu? I'm famous. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh, nice. Was that the stranger um, that I hadn't met yet? I think it might have been. Nice. Uh, how many strangers do we still have left? Do we see any strangers around this town? Was that it? Oh, there's a stranger down by the dock. And then, is that it for townies? Have we met everybody? No, we still have five people left to meet. Okay, well, let's go... Let's go down to the... Oh, let's go down to the dock and meet this stranger. How do I get down to the dock? Is it down here? Uh, I think I'm going backwards. I think this is not the way. How? Ooh, whoa! Did I just dash? Huh! You can dash? I did not know that. <laughs> Pro gamer strats. Wow, do I have like a limit to my dashes? It looks like there's a cooldown. Dang. Oh, how? Doesn't all this new life make you feel inspired, Pengu? The birth of new creatures also means the birth of new ideas. Very poetic. Where am I? Okay, so go down. Where is the stranger? Oh, you know what? I don't know if I have access to that corner of the pier yet. I don't know. Let's see. Hello! The coffee maker at the shop is weather resistant. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can withstand rain, snow even. Well, why don't you just keep it inside? It was costly but worth every penny? I don't know, man. I feel like you should, if you're spending that much on a coffee maker, you should just keep it inside. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Alright, let's see here. Who is down here? No, I can't meet you yet. Heck. Alright, I was right. Oh, there's somebody up here to meet though? Okay, let's go up there. Uh, what's the fastest way to get up there? Is it this way? Come to me, stranger. Where were they? Oh no, they're this way. Heck. Hello? Are you the stranger? I think it's you. Oh yeah! Hello. Eva. Oh, nice to meet you too. My name's Everest. Oh, that's actually a cute name. I like that. Eva for short. Our best friend, Jim. Of course the newcomer is a distasteful and damaging oil drilling company. This is why you don't trust outsiders. Okay, Jim. Sensing a little xenophobia here. Okay, I don't see any other strangers immediately. So let us go to... Where is it? The carpenter that we're aiming for? The carpenter. So where am I? I need to go up and left? Alright. Up and left. This map is actually quite large. Should I chase you? I'm not gonna chase you. <gasps> Dog! Oh my gosh! Is this Taco? Is this our friend Taco? Taco is busy and can't talk right now because he's splashing in the fountain, please! He's so cute. Oh, did I just water Taco? I love Taco. So heckin' cute. He can't talk because he's splashing in the fountain. I always wonder why Bree didn't buy your grandparents' land. She seems to be at the lookout all the time, so she clearly enjoys the view from up there. Who's Bree? So it's an oil company, huh? I don't think tourists are gonna book our in again with oil drills around here. I know we're supposed to oppose the pufferfish plan for this island, but if they offer to renovate both the observatory and dock, I'm not sure what to do. I guess there are shades of grey, eh? Uh, who's this? Butter? Bonbon. Bon. I love Bonbon's little uh, illustration. He looks so squishable, I just want to squish him so bad. I am glad I ran into Bonbon. You wish it could happen? I do wish it could happen more often. Look at his little tail. Oh, he's perfect. Okay, where am I going? 
I still need to keep going up. Where is the carpenter? Keep going up, keep going up. We are not there yet. Can I pick this mushroom? Nice. Keep going up? No. Go back down. I still don't have like a mental model of, of the map of this place. So, pufferfish is here. That can't be good, right? Oh, this is Brie. The soil here is ideal for grapes. And there's the hills and just the right amount of sunlight. Why didn't you buy my farm, Brie? Huh, huh, huh? Alright, let's head to the carpenter. Maybe they can fix the floors in our floors in our holes, the holes in our floors. Part of the reason Dinda and I moved here is so that we can enjoy the beauty of nature, but with pufferfish here, sigh. I feel ya. Repair your house. Carpenter? Uh no. House upgrade. Fix up your house. So we need 50 woods and 20 stones. And we have to figure out how to make a scarecrow. Repair your house. Okay, can I pin all- what's- is there a limit to how many of these things I can pin? How do I control the pins? Do I control the pins or is it selecting the pins for me? So I have enough stuff. Oh, I just didn't bring it with me. Oh well. Do I have enough time to go home and then come back? What's- what's new here? Why are you telling me there's something new in the carpenter? Ooh, a mill and a silo. Alright. Have I talked to you? I did talk to you. Those puffer people have some nerve. <laughs> I like puffer people. Stirring trouble around here, and they do it in full knowledge of what oil spill had done to of what the oil spill had done to us. Alright, let's go home and get some wood and stone and then fix up our house. Oh hello. <laughs> look at look at how they're walking. What what is this what is this walk? <laughs> it's so slouchy and silly. Those puffer those pufferfish people vibe. <laughs> those pufferfish people vibe are bad. People's vibes are bad. People vibe are bad. Grammar? Oh no, mate. Bad is not enough. It's evil. How do I get home? Oh, I guess this is my farm. So. Can I... How did, how did I... Ooh. <laughs> this scroll is very sensitive. I don't have very good control over it. Okay, can I, can I go down? Or do I have to go like up and around? I don't know. Let's just... Let's wing it. We have all day. It's only 11.30. More mushrooms. Hot springs? Wait, can I get energy in the hot springs? Maybe. <gasps> this cow is so cute. <laughs> this cow is so cute. What's available now? Cows at the hot springs? I don't know if that's sanitary. Hello! What can I do for you? Okay. Uh, bath? Animals? These cows are so heckin' cute. I love- <laughs> Look at how derpy these chickens look! Look at those eyes! You look so goofy! I love them. Look at this proud cow. Is this a is this a pig or a bunny? I think this is a pig. Ah, oh, ten out of ten animal designs in this game. So cute. Wait, did I talk to did I talk to him? Come back. I think I did talk to him. Maybe I didn't talk to him. Let's talk to him again. I'm pretty glad people aren't taking to the idea of oil drills around here. On t'other hand, I get why some are fretting about the island withering away without any investments. Shades of grey, I tell ya. All right, how do I get home? Can I pick this? I can pick this. I can't pick this. Can I pick this? Hello? <laughs> I can water it. I guess I can't pick it. Hello, cows. Oh, there's so <laughs> What is what is going on over here? Hello, what is this? Can I adopt this thing? It's adorable. I live like south of this. Oh, I see I saw a pig. No, I live to the right. Hello, piggy pig. This pig is cute. I like it. Can't wait to have a gazillion animals. Look at these cows! Look at their big fat faces. I love them. Did we make it home? We made it home. Okay, so let's get. Oops, makeshift chest. Stones and woods. And then let's go back to the carpenter.
Wait, is this the best way to go to the carpenter? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely do not have like a mental map of this game yet. TBH, it usually takes me like 20 hours of play <laughs> to, to wrap my brain around the map. I'm very, very slow at, at map-based processing. Can I? Oh, I should be giving somebody like a... Uh, a bouquet shouldn't I? Do I have anything to donate? Could I donate the mushrooms? Maybe not. Maybe like fish. Next time I catch a fish or a bug, I'll donate it. Oh, hello. Maybe I'll give you a gift. Who are you? K K How did I say that I was going to say their name again? I forget. Cham? Kim? Kam? I'm just going to go with Cham. Ch Cham? Cham? I don't, I don't know. Several please tell me in the comments how I'm supposed to say their name. Pufferfish, huh? I don't have too much thought about them. Do you think they'll sponsor my sports team? Should I even try or is it lame? Uh, priorities. Okay, let's give you a bouquet. Gift. Gift. Yes. I wasn't expecting a gift today. What a nice surprise. Oh, I'm glad they liked it. Did we finish making friends? Nice, 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 nice. Progress. All right, let's go fix up our house. Shop. Carpenter, no, not carpenter. Is there new stuff? Mail, silo, uh, house upgrade. Confirm. Awesome, thank you, I'll work on it right away. Woohoo. Joko, honey, a slight change of plans. Pingu's here with the building materials. Let's head over to the farm and repair Pingu's cabin. They're so speedy. Wow, that's awesome, Pingu. Let's do it. I like how all of the NPCs have like a different gait or like a walk. I really like it. The NPCs in this game are top notch. How are the house upgrades? More comfortable, right? Now move it and help me get your stuff inside, kiddo. Ugh, oh, look, no holes in my floors. Amazing. Aww. <laughs> Sitting down for a little powwow after. Or for a break, I guess. Phew, that old thing was really heavy. <laughs> sure seemed like it. We're finished. What do you think, Pingu? No more holes! <laughs> I hope you can sleep better now. Look, no more moldy wood. We replaced all of it. We also built a new foundation for the house. Like, in a day? Dang. That means it's strong enough for more furniture now. You can start decorating to make things comfier. Speaking of decoration... We have a furniture store in town. But since there are fewer tourists, we don't stock many options anymore. No one's buying, you know. Check it out, though. You might see something you like. If you want, we can go there, right? <laughs> I would go there right now. Let's go. All right, that's enough. You'll scare the kid. So if I single-handedly fuel the economy by buying tons of furniture, will you get more options? Is that what's happening here? Oh, sorry, Pinku. I got too excited there. We love that store. Even got some of my cousins helping out there. It's a family business for us. Feel free to visit when you have the time, Pingu. It's in the middle of town. Uh, it shouldn't be hard to find. Wait, is that different from the carpenter? It's in a different place? All right, that's all for... Honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh yeah, the TV. Do I get a new TV? But you just like... Wait, did I not have a TV before? <laughs> We threw in a TV for you, Pingu, free of charge. It's old and bulky, but it still works perfectly. Gets a good amount of channels, too, like this weather. <laughs> oh, it's one of those TVs that you have to hit to work. Well, sometimes you gotta smack it good at a 60 degree angle like this. The channels are very useful, like the weather report on the weather channel, so you can skip watering the crops on rainy days to go fishing or something. I don't know what you like to do, but you get the idea. There are variety shows too. Love them. 
Some shows have useful tips if you play close attention. Play close attention. Pay close attention. <laughs> I guess that's all for now. See you around, Pengu. See you, Pengu. Don't forget about the furniture store, all right? I will not. I'm really bad at decorating, but we'll go see what's cute. I like just getting cute individual items and then like smushing them together, but I'm really bad at having like a theme. Open journal to claim reward. Nice. What's our what's our reward? What was our reward? Was it gold coins? I'll take that. Okay, so we need to harvest, donate an item, and craft a scarecrow. Who did we relationship with? Still got- wait, we still have five people? I thought we had five people before we met somebody. Oh well. Okay. So I still don't think I know how to make a scarecrow, so I guess we run around until we find that recipe. But we can definitely donate an item to the museum, so let's go do some fishing. So what's in... what's in, what's the difference between these two tests again? Let's put all of this away. I keep thinking this is a bug, but it's not. So let's go fishing so that we can donate to the museum. Slash, maybe I'll hold this. So how do I work this again? Okay. Um, so let's let's try to catch some bugs and fishes for our museum. Can I get out this way? <laughs> Help. Wait, can I even exit the bottom of my farm? I can, can't I? To like go down here? And then maybe we can fish in this river? I guess I can reach that from the top. Let's just go from the top. I don't think I can navigate that, uh, the wilderness that is my farm right now. All right. So can I fish from like here or do I have to go further? I see shadows here. Let's, let's see. Nice. Wait for a fish to hook a line. Have we fished yet in this game? I don't know. Ooh, I see a fish. Wait, wait, <laughs> what just happened? I panicked. I don't think it worked. How am I, how, how do? Let's try that again. What am I supposed to do when it hooks? I see. That seems, pr oh, that was just trash. Okay, never mind. I'm assuming if it's actually a fish, it'll like pull more. I don't know. Maybe it's mostly trash in these like little ponds by my farm. Maybe I need to go to the ocean or something. Oh dang. That 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 wasn't good. Let's try again. I have the feeling it's probably more like spirit fair fishing where you have to like reel in in little bursts. Oops. Um I'm actually not playing with a mouse. I'm playing with like a Wacom <laughs> pen tablet as my mouse. Which I feel like makes the clickiness just a little less intuitive for me, but we can figure it out. So if I just like keep clicking. So this is how I do in Spirit Fair to like keep it from running away, and I think it's working. There we go. We just have to like click con continually. There we go. We got a crayfish! Looks like a tiny lobster and lives uh, in fresh water. Let's go donate to the- uh, does the museum close? Is the museum going to be closed if I go there right now? Maybe we hold our net in case we run into something. A buggo. Oh, hello. New people. Have you seen the pufferfish building? I see it every time I take Valentina to school. Hmm. My nose is itchy. The museum is up here somewhere, right? No? Where's the museum? Yeah, right here. There we go. Donate here. Donate item. Donate crayfish. Woohoo! Quest complete. Collection award? Oh, wow, wow. So many things to collect. I love this, uh, this page. It's so colorful and happy. Nice. Empty no more. Claim reward. Nice! We are making progress. So now we have to harvest a crop and make a scarecrow. As you master activities, we'll come up with different ways. So I guess, um, 
I just have to wait until I uh, uncover that, which means that's pretty much all we have to do today, right? So I think I'll go back to the farm and just keep clearing it out with my remaining energy before bed. I forget if this game forces me to go to bed. I don't think it does. I don't think it's like a Stardew situation where you pass out at 2 a.m., but maybe it is. Who knows? <laughs> it's been a few weeks since uh, I recorded episode one, so I feel like I forgot a little bit about the mechanics of this game, but that's okay. So let's keep clearing out this. Maybe I should be clearing out like a path down so I can actually go exit down my farm. Eh. Whatever. I'll just keep clearing out from this corner. some farm clearing ASMR noises. Uh, wait, how do I... Pickaxe? I assume my pickaxe is not strong enough for this. Yes. I forget how I clear the trash. Is it with a pickaxe? No, it's with a scythe. Can I, like, power up my swing by holding it? No? I don't think so. Oh wait, did I feed my dog? My talking dog? Maybe we should check on him. Where is he? Inventory fall! Maybe I should feed my dog. Where does he live again? Is this the shipping bin? Or is this storage? <laughs> no? How do I... Okay, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Don't I have a dog or is that a different game? <laughs> What's the game where I have a talking dog? Is it not this one? I play too many farm sims. Is it Cornucopia? I think it's Cornucopia with the talking dog. I guess I don't have a dog yet. <laughs> Sorry to uh, confuse you all. This is not the game with the talking dog. Welp. There are just so many farm sims that I want to play. <laughs> And I've been like demoing them, but then I just don't have time to keep up with them. And then I get confused, like thinking that there's a talking dog in Coral Island. I wonder if I can adopt one of like the town dogs. I would love to take Taco home with me. He's such a sweetheart. Okay, let's put this stuff away. Chest is full! Okay. I'll organize those chests later. So let's pick up the trash. Oh, glass. Oh, I got glass? You can get glass? That's pretty cool. Let's do a little bit more scything until I have no more energy and then we'll go to bed. Why can't I scythe this? Scythe. Are these like seeds? Can I hoe this? No? Oh yeah. I can hoe that. Hoe better. There you go. Scythe better! <laughs> I'm using all my energy just swinging my tools around randomly in my field. Okay, that's enough. Let's put our stuff away and go to bed. Maybe I should do some, some chest simulator organization. Ah, feels so good to walk into a house that has no holes in the floors. Go to bed. Day ended year one. Made no money, but I did make a little bit of money because I made progress on my quests. Alright, let's watch our new TV. Game of Cones. Hello viewers, welcome to the Game of Cones, a fight for the right to be the king of cuisine. As always. <laughs> Wait, is this Gordon Ramsay? Is this Gordon? It's Gordy Ramsay's! As always, our judge is the meanie with a heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramsay's. Today we have two contestants trying to win the heart and stomach of our stony chef here. Gordy, tell our chefs here what today's theme is. Today's theme is simple and something every good chef should know how to do. Soup. Any soup will do. <laughs> chefs, go cook. And they're off. Let's check up on our first chef, Chef Rob. Tell us, chef, what are you making today? I'm keeping it simple. Growing up, one of my favorite meals is a good hearty tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. Mmm. That's what I'm going to make today. 
Sounds delicious. Let's go to our other cont contestant, Chef Macy. Chef, what will you be serving our grumpy chef? I live by the ocean, and it irks me that people throw away perfectly good fish heads. I want to show everyone how easy it is to cook delicious fish head soup. I don't think I've had that before. Let's ask our surly chef what he thinks. Gordy, what makes a good soup? It can be a full hearty meal or a side dish that perfectly complements the main. But here, I'm looking for a soup that can stand on its own. Filling, warm, and hearty. And it looks like our chefs are done. That is a fish head. <laughs> Let's take a look at our first dish. What do you think, Gordy? Oh, very nice. I like the little bit of kick the ginger gives, and the heads perfectly thicken the soup. Well done. Let's move on to the second dish. How about this one, Gordy? I love good tomato soup. This is certainly an upgrade from the classic, but I don't know if it has enough of that wow factor. Delicious nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> he's crying. Both chefs delivered great dishes, but I think Chef Rob's won today's challenge. Really? The, sh the tomato soup? I thought that the fish head was, was better. Simple, consistent, and reminds me of the days my mother would take care of me when I was sick. Oh, look at the game of <laughs> Look at this throne made out of frying pans. That's good. I enjoy that. Not only have you melted the Grinch's heart, but you also win a lifetime supply of tomatoes and the cast iron throne. Wow, thank you. Uh, that throne doesn't look very comfortable, isn't it? It isn't, Rob. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. A-plus programming. Good content. So it looks like it's raining. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, good morning. I'm Mark. You're the new farmer I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed? <laughs> yes, it was closed and now it's open. All right. Catch any of that? <laughs> Don't talk down to me. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam, no monsters anymore. Just don't go too deep, your garden rake won't help you there. Why are you being so rude to me? Monsters, it is dangerous. <laughs> That's all, if you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Man, what is Mark, what, what is Mark's problem with me? What a waste of time. Are we gonna win over Mark? Yeesh. Listen, buddy. I don't have anything to tell him. <laughs> I just want to say, listen, buddy. Woohoo! Okay, now we should go buy new seeds. What's our little plot? Five by four? Twenty? We can buy twenty new seeds? What? This isn't ready? Nineteen new seeds. What is this? Why is this not ready? These big flowers are so cute. I love them. So let's put these away, and then maybe later we'll play a little bit of chest simulator too and organize these. Can I quick transfer? Quick transfer? No? Okay, so let's go to town. Buy some seeds, open journal to claim reward. We should do that. And then we just need to figure out how to make a scarecrow. Is there something I'm missing? Do I just keep playing this until I discover a scarecrow recipe? I don't really know what else to do. Four people. Four people. Wait, who did we meet? <laughs> Last time we checked it was five people I still had to meet. Okay, let's go into town. Get our seeds. Plant our seeds, and then go from there. Maybe we can work on our museum collections if there are no other active quests. Wait, which way is seeds? Oh, we have a stranger here! Let's go find the stranger. But wait, where is the Sam's General Store? Yeah, let's go chase down this stranger. Are you the stranger? No, you're Valentina. Oh no, the empty building in front of my uncle's house is all clean now. I can't play there with my friends anymore. Can't you play there if it's- arguably it would be better if it's clean, no? Uh, hello! <laughs> uh, you not getting much use out of your shirt buttons, eh? Ah, the new re resident. <laughs> we, we sure did meet Antonio. Okay, let's go back up. Where was the store? Sam's General Store. It's closed! It opens at 9. It'll probably be 9 by the time we get there. Maybe not. Maybe we do a little fishy fish in the meantime. Kill some time. Ah! I panicked. I, I <laughs> got a little trigger happy there as soon as I saw the fish shadow appear. I 
like the fishing in this game. I like it. Another crayfish forming. Oh, no, wait, we don't need that. Okay, we can go to the, uh... We can go to the general store now. Say hello to this friend first. Judge Ross, I'm here on an official visit. I remember you. Okay, so is the store lefter or upper? Oh! Did I- no wait, no, it's down here. Okay, so down. Oh! Oh, oh, so many people! <laughs> it's not good for Mama to get worked up like the other day. My brother told me about what happened with Pufferfish. Disappointing. The Cherry Blossom Festival is on the 10th. Jot it down on your calendar. I'm sure it is already jotted down on my calendar. So we have space for 19 seeds, I think. Maybe first we say hello to you behind the counter. Hello? It's no use wasting our energy on being angry at Pufferfish Core. It's better to redirect that energy into something more productive. That's an opinion. Shop! Oh, wait, can I upgrade my bag? Wait, I don't- oh, I should be making money. I shouldn't have put everything in my chest. I should have sold some of it. That's okay, we can go back. So what did- what have we har harvested so far? Well, cauliflower is new, so maybe we should buy some cauliflower. But cauliflower is kind of expensive. Maybe like one, two, three, four, five cauliflowers, and then we can buy some cheap stuff. So like, more turnips. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's buy five more, maybe, potatoes. Did we do carrots? Let's do carrots. No! <laughs> Insufficient gold! Heck, I didn't math that good. Oh, we're so close! Can I sell you a thing? Will you buy this fish from me? Who will buy a fish? <laughs> no! I'm so sad that that number didn't end up being round. Unhap. I want to say I'm surprised Pufferfish moved in, but I'm not. Life is unfair sometimes. Alright, let's go plant our seeds. Ooh, hello. How's your first spring on Coral Island so far? Pretty, pretty alright, thanks for asking, Everest. I don't know why, I really like that name. <laughs> Everest, Eva for short, that's so cute, I love that. Wait, how do I get back to my farm? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Farm, so helpful. Maybe we should go diving. Wait, we're not allowed to dive yet. That area was blocked off. This is so picturesque. Like, I have a heckin' waterfall on my farm. Plant, 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 plant. Plant, 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 plant. I feel like the uh, tool hit sounds are a little bit loud. Music volume, ambient volume, is there no like sound? Is that the sound effects? Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, tab, tab, where's my inventory? Can I tab through my inventory? Let's plant these four seeds. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's organize our chests. So. Let's see, take it to the blacksmith? Maybe we should go to the blacksmith. Let's do that. Okay, and then what's in- we'll go to the blacksmith and then we will come back and organize some stuff. So where does the blacksmith live? Oh, we have a stranger in here. Let's go, let's go find the stranger. So that was up and to the left. Can I catch a thing? How do I how do I be sneaky? Eh. No, <laughs> I don't know how to sneak up on you. It's okay. Uh, no, keep going left. Cavern. Ooh, we should go mining too. What is this? Who knows? <laughs> this is a cute little house. Who's in here? Hello? Wait, what are you playing? A farmer? Are you playing the f- I can't- I can't tell what they're supposed to be playing. Is it a flute or like a clarinet? 
<laughs> I think it maybe is supposed to be a flute, but I can't really tell with like where their arms are. I think it's supposed to be a flute. <laughs> well, that's cool. We have a flute player in Coral Island. That's awesome. I'm a flute player. Okay, so how many townies do we have left? Two more townies. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, so let's find the blacksmith. Forest, carpenter, cavern, Ben's caravan, bathhouse, observatory, vineyard, manor, flat blacksmith. Okay, so up and to the right. This is very like house in the woods decor. I wonder if Kira made that flute. I wonder if it's a wood flute. That would be pretty heckin' cool. Hello. <laughs> if you're looking for Kenny, he's probably inside the house. I don't think he was, but thank you. Uh, maybe we keep going this way. The ranch with our cute little cow face. So heckin' cute. Okay, so I think if I keep going this way, I can make it to the blacksmith. Ooh, let's pick some flowers. Flowers. Alright, are we on track? Yeah, keep going. Wait, maybe not. Do I have to go like down and around? I think maybe I have to go down and around. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like. Alright, up. And then maybe the blacksmith is... Blacksmith! There we go. Let's see what's in these treasure chests. Hello! I like Pablo. <laughs> I have no idea who I'm going to romance in this game. Blue mask. Ooh, can I d uh, donate this? I have insufficient gold! What? Okay. Well, alright then. <laughs> Let's go donate this. And then maybe like fish so we can make money. You here for business or just she seeking shelter? Seeking shelter. I was here for business. I businessed you. Oh no, I need to dry off my boots. Mud everywhere. <laughs> I like his shook face. It's cute. All right, let's go to the museum. How do we get to the museum? Over here? No? Here, where am I? So down and then to the left. Wait, to the left. More to the left? More down? More down. I'm assuming I can donate this. Museums are for artifacts, right? Donate item. Blue mask! Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, um, so let's go. I would like to organize my chests. That is what I would like to do today. I can make my way back to my farm. So usually I like to have like a woody things chest and a stony things chest. I feel like that's usually a good start. So let's do that. And then maybe a water things chest. Maybe we make another chest. Is it just wood that I need to make a chest? Crafting. Makeshift chest. Okay, yeah. So let's have like a... Uh... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I name my chests? Yeah! Okay, so this is gonna be like... Uh, like... Um, I don't know, soft things? Tree things? <laughs> trees? We're just gonna call it trees for now. And then... This is gonna be uh, stone and like hard things. I don't know. I don't know if my, my way of organizing things actually makes any sense. But here we are. So let's, oops, and then we'll have like a water things chest for like fish and beach stuff. So this will be water. Okay, so in our tree things chest, we can have, we can have seeds, compost, maybe trash can go in the stone chest, crayfish will go in the water chest, these can stay here, coal will go in the stone chest, uh, this will go in the water chest, water chest. 
let's put these in here and take this. Okay, that works. So can we organize this? Nice. And then stone. Oh, this. Put this away. Take. Oh, maybe I should make another chest for like vegetables or crops or something. Cause actually, there's not very much space in here. Okay, so this is water stuff. Organize. Or like forageables, I guess? Yeah, let's make like a foraging chest. Or maybe I should make like a crops chest. Let's make a crops chest. This will be like trees and forage. Actually, no wait, I don't think I need to. Well, eh, that's, it's almost full, so let's make a crops chest. So let's get some wood and some trash. I think I need more... What, what's the shortcut for my crafting menu? Oh, what was that? Tea? So I need more trash. So let's get more trash and then we're going to make a crops chest and then we should also decide to sell some stuff. I'm like such a hoarder. IRL and in games. Where is some trash? I see some trash. But I am a little bit short on money so I should probably sell something. Unless we fish and make money. I could sell that crayfish. Should I be keeping one of everything? Is this the sort of deal where I'm going to regret it if I don't have like one of every single possible item on hand? Hard to say. But I feel like in the beginning... I should probably just sell stuff and then I can get get stuff back if I find that I need it later. Okay, so T. Makeshift chest. Good. This can be crops. Crops. Okay, so now in the trees chest, let's pull out our turnip. Was that our only crop? Maybe. Okay. And compost. And then in the stone chest, we'll put scrap and trash, and then organize this. And then in our crops chest, we will put crops emmies. Okay, so maybe I'll keep like three turnips for now, maybe for like cooking. And then I'll sell these. And then what else can I sell? Maybe I can sell, maybe I'll sell these daisies. I'll keep like the quality daisies in case I feel like I need them. Um, or maybe I should keep the base daisies and sell the quality ones for more money. Let's do that. And then do I have a shipping bin? Is this the shipping bin? Let's sell turnips, daisies, and daisies. So we should have a little bit more money tomorrow. Okay, so now it is 4.30. I want to figure out how to catch some bugs. Let's let's go try to catch some bugs. Cause I just like I don't know how to sneak up on them so they don't run away. What's the, what's the sneak button? I feel like if I was in a controller, I'd just like. Oh, this is the sneak button. I see. Woo! Nice little wood satyr butterfly. Oh, I like it. That that wasn't so hard. Okay. Should we keep fishing? What's along here? Ooh, look how shiny that rock is. So how do I- can I dig this? Do I have a diggy thing? Oh, there we go. I can get that. Nice, nice, nice. What's this? Should I- I don't know where I'm going. Oh, hello. It's only the beginning of spring, but I already can't wait to spend my summer soaking up some sun at the beach. I think I want to go to the beach and like do some fishing maybe and catch some bugs on the way if I can. Perfect weather for some spicy red curry. Ooh, it's always perfect weather for spicy red curry. TBH. Let's mine this. Let's just like clear stuff. Oops. I keep hitting things twice. Ooh, my chest. Or a coffer, I guess. Whoa, I can walk in the water? Can I fish while, like, standing in the water? Interesting. That's cool. I like that I can walk into the water here. I see a fishy. Oh, this is a very splashy fish. So I guess when it's splashing around like that, I can't hold it. I can't tell what the pattern is here. I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. Oh, jeez.
Man, this better be a good fish. Ooh, oh, oh, oh gosh, that's close. Man, this fish is hard to fish. No, come back. Oh, what's that? I got an octopus. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. What's this fishbone? Oops, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Can I hold this fishbone? No? All right. Can I hold this fishbone? No, I don't think so. Harvest. And then maybe we can start thinking about going back to the farm and going to bed. Maybe we should keep clearing out the farm. Oh, but I want to make money. Okay, so is the museum open? Let's see if the museum is open. See if we can swing by on the way home and donate this big old octopus and that little butterfly that we caught earlier too. What's this? Because we need enough money to open all of these coffers. Is the museum directly up here? Sands? I think the museum is this way. Right? Is this it? Are you closed? 24 hour museum? Poggers. <laughs> Donate item. Look at this cute little octopus. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. We are making progress. When do I get a collection reward? Do you have to co collect the entire collection to get a reward? That's not very many rewards. Alright, let's go back to the farm, use up the rest of our energy, and then go to bed. Let's clear in the downwards direction. Oh, that's not what I meant. Can I pick this? Is this pickable? Can I fish in this little pond? I guess that's like a water source. That's nice. Although, am I going to be expected to like hand water this entire plot? Because that's a little redonkulous. I'm sure we'll get sprinklers eventually, maybe, hopefully. Ideally. Or maybe some like mystical forest creature like the Junimos to help us water. Okay, we have to empty our bags a little bit. So, tree stuff. Quick transfer. Put this away too. Nice. Stone. Quick transfer. Water. Quick transfer. Nice. It's getting to be midnight. Oh wait, no, it's 10.50, so I still have a bit of time. I don't know if I want to find out if this game is going to punish me for staying up too late. I'm so, like, loss averse. So many coffers! Not enough money to see what's inside all the coffers. I gotta burn this energy. The rain sounds in this game are excellent. Very soothing. Maybe I should let those little trees grow so that I can harvest their wood, but it's just so satisfying clearing everything out. Uh oh, it's getting late. Okay, so let's pay attention tomorrow morning and see if I got all of my energy back. Or if there's like a penalty for staying up late. I have the feeling if it just gave me that like it's getting late warning, it's gonna force me to go to bed. Okay, so first let's put some stuff away and then go to bed. Oh yeah, we should go to the furniture store too and get some decorations. That is day two done. Let's see how many how many monies, how much monies we made. Oh! We can make a scarecrow! Amazing. Uh, perfect. We should do that tomorrow. 452 gold! Not bad, not bad. We are making progress. Let's make a scarecrow! I'm gonna be so mad if another crow ate my thingy. Okay, let's see what's on TV first. 
telen I feel like I should watch something that's actually helpful, but these like uh, variety programming channels are quite good. Oops, I meant to click the other one. Whatever, that's okay. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding area. The sun will be out tomorrow. It will be clear and sunny. Say hi. Stay hydrated, everybody. All right, that's enough TV for a day. So let's water our stuff. What is this? Oops, harvest. And then let's get five more seeds. Was that a potato? Okay, let's put our potato in our crop chest. And we wanna, ooh, build a scarecrow. What do I need to build a scarecrow? Wood and trash. Oh, can I just build it directly with the stuff in my... Oh, that's nice. I don't need to bullet bring it into my, uh, my, 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 my backpack. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We have a scarecrow now. Claim reward. Okay, so we're done all of our quests for now. How do we unlock more quests? Let's go to town and buy some seeds. Four seeds. And then maybe do some fishing? To make some money? Maybe I should be planting more crops. I don't know. Ooh, what's happening? More pufferfish protests? Oh, hello, Connor. Hey there, Pengu. It's good to see you. I'm just heading to Raja's, Raja's Coffee. Are you here to socialize? Uh, yes. By the way, what's with the pufferfish scene? Ah, the scene, yeah. It's easier if I show you. Show me. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, Connor. Charlotte Town Rank F, oh no. See that large F on the Town Rank board? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen suddenly, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet Town's A rank. An A, Pengu. <laughs> Sometimes we got a B, but was never an F until... Ugh, I need to sit down to tell you what happened. Oh no. Some time ago... Ooh, flashback time. Judge Ross. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. Today, we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of... F. F. Say what? Hello. Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. Wow, she wasted no time. I found the perfect location. Rot roll. Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time, those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new Pufferfish building. Their plan is to rescue us. Their plan to rescue us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, ocean, and heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Pengu. Great, even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. It will just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean, where do we even start? How do we even start? Oh, he looks so defeated. Our town is in a difficult position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me for coffee? The walk in fresh air will do us both good. a little depressy. Oh, what was this? What's sparkling? Is everything all right? I don't know. Town 
Town Rank uh, showcases your overall progress in revitalizing the town. Raise the town's rank by improving the ocean, the museum, and heritage. We can do that. So where is the community center? Community center, open 24 hours. Oh, the museum is, oh, it has opening time on the map. That's handy. <laughs> I didn't notice. No tacos splashing around in the fountain today. I keep telling my sons I'm fine. I got a little worked up because of Karen. That's all. I understand, Betty. Town hall. So... This is our... Wait, where's the big F? Coral Island budget, 20XIX. I guess that's what, 2019? Um, okay, what did I say we were gonna do today? I completely forgot. Let's go fishing. Because we have no active quests right now, right? We have no quests. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Town rank. Oh, here we go. Activity, activity log. Oh, maybe we should go to the mines. Let's do that, actually. Town rank museum. Okay, yeah, let's go to the mines and see what's up there. I gathered a lot of bamboo shoots over the weekend. Have you found any yet? No, I haven't. So how do I get to the mines? If I go up, and then up and up, it's over here. So yeah, let's go up and to the left. Hello! Zara was using a metal detector down on the beach the other day and she found a gold coin! Wow, wow, wow. What a beautiful day for a swim. The Cherry Blossom Festival is coming up. There are simple craft projects you can make yourself to improve your farm. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, how we doing? Let's go up to the left. Feel this pufferfish thing. It's outside our scope of guarding the town against monsters. This is more political threats. Different kind of monster. Am I going the right way still? Uh, no. I should go down. Can I even cross this way, though? Whatever. We can still get there this way. It's just a little bit more around. Oh, wait! No! We had to go get seeds! Heck! 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 We'll get seeds tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. I'm already so far. Wait, can I even go this way? Is this blocked? Hello? What the heck? Alright. It's fine, we're exploring. Getting the lay of the land. What is this thing? It seems ominous. Catch this guy. No! What? I was being sneaky. Is this the cavern? I think this is the cavern. Yeah. Ooh, spoopy. does not seem safe. Is it gonna be a what's his face again? You, the weak looking farmer, get back. Hey, uh, get back from the months. Wait a minute, where are the monsters? I thought y'all said that you cleared the monsters. Isn't that what that dude said? Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quake, hmm, the shaking happened right after you entered, right? There is an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer? Yeah, the weak-looking one. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. Well, that's not helpful at all. Hmm. 
From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty, just don't forget they have monsters too. Take this sword, you'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. Thanks, we have new quests. Reach level 5 and turn the elevator back on. Okay, we can do that. Maybe. Possibly. Um, can I, like, rearrange my inventory? I like to have my sword in the beginning. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's have, like, sword, and then maybe fishing pole, and then, like, scythe, hoe, pickaxe. Actually, no, I want the pickaxe next to this, because presumably we will need the sword and the pickaxe. Uh, together at the same time. So let's do axe, scythe, hoe. Let's go hoe, scythe, net. That's like a reasonable order of operations for my tools, right? What what can I put in equipment? Can I put like this in equipment? No. What's gonna go in equipment? Outfit. Oh, oh. No, give me my clothes back. <laughs> Wait, you can have preset outfits. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Okay. So, how do we... Okay, I'm going. Entrance one. Ooh. Spoopy. So, how do I get back out here? Okay. So, are there going to be, like, staircases or what? How do I get up here? Can I, like, jump? Do I hit those things? No. Nope. I don't think I'm gonna make it to floor 5 today. I'm already, like, halfway out of energy. Well, like, a third of the way out of energy. Finally. Earth 2. Oh. oh! Friend! I think I have to kill you. Oh, these monsters are so cute! I love them! Adorable. Good stuff. They're so heckin' cute. Wait! What am I holding? Why is my sword, like, glowing? What the heck? They're so heckin' cute, oh my gosh. Can I fish in here? Let's fish. fishing. Blue tang? Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Man, this mine has got to have like the cutest monsters I've ever seen. I like the design of these mines though. Cannot turn on, need torch. Oh, okay. Uh, how do I get a torch? Can I like get this torch? Do I have a torch in my bag now? What did I do with that torch? So I torched. Can oh no! <laughs> I'm turning them out is what I'm doing. That's not good. Okay, you know what? I think I want to leave the mine and go buy some more seeds. But I'm glad we got a taste of them. And we have a uh, new quest to work towards, so that's good. Can I? I guess I can bring a torch if I have like a stick or something? I'm not really sure. I guess we'll figure that out. I like the design of these mines though. They're very cool. Okay, uh, let's see if we can make it back to the general store before they close. 
I don't have terribly high hopes, but it's only like two o'clock. What time does the general store close? Where is it? Here? Five? Closes at five? All right, let's run. Okay, why is my sword glowing though? <laughs> what is up with that? Can I like not be holding my sword? I feel like it's a little bit threatening. Oh, I want to catch this butterfly, but I want to also make it to the store before it closes. Wait, which way do I go? I think down. Wait, this is not right. Uh, up and around? I love that there's a pride flag hanging by the community center. Oh, hello, friends. What's bad about getting more money, even if it's from an oil company? Okay, Leah. Besides, this town can be a little less boring, too, with their promises. Listen up. From what I've heard, pufferfish is MO. That's crime talk for one's particular technique. Anyway, they slowly push out the people out of the town they move into, and that was always the case. Oh, is that their plan? That tracks. Okay, so we want four seeds to plant around that scarecrow, right? How much does it cost to upgrade my bag? Oh, for 500? Yeah, I, I kind of do. But maybe I should be, maybe I should be focusing on crops. Let's buy some crops. Mmm. So we have carrots in the ground. Let's do potatoes. Two, three, four. Maybe tomorrow we can come by and buy a backpack upgrade. That's the best price I can give you. Take it or leave it. I'll, I'll leave it for today, but I will come back. I should check up on Betty. Gotta make sure she's alright. She was like so upset at the pufferfish meeting. I've never seen her. <laughs> So worked up like that. I like how the like is just italicized instead of the so. She was like so obsessed. Okay, let's go plant our stuff and then I don't know, maybe we can go back to the mines or maybe we can do some fishing. I feel like we should be working on the museum. Oh. Pango, I heard from everyone about the new oil company. I got like, <laughs> I don't know why, but Antonio looks like he could be a character in Bridgerton. Terrible, terrible news. If another oil spill happens, I'll bring my family out of here. I don't know why I think that, because it makes no sense, but I see him and I think Bridgerton. Maybe because he looks like, um, what's, what's, who's the guy that plays Simon in season one? He kind of, he kind of gives me those vibes. No? <laughs> Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. Uh, okay, so let's... I wish you could like scroll or like tab through your inter inventory. It's kind of annoying to like have a limited number of things available in your toolbar. I guess I can actually plant one more row of stuff with our scarecrow, right? Okay, I'm being, no, I'm, I can't make it back by five, but tomorrow I should plant another row of stuff. Today I will maybe clear my way down and then catch some bugs or some fishes. Let's just try to like clear a way out of the farm and see if there's an exit down here. I think there is. Wow, oh, there sure is a lot of trash on my farm. No, oh, I'm stuck. Yes, we have a path. Farm, lighthouse, what's around here? Have I been here yet? What's this? I don't understand what it says. Oh, what's this? I want to catch you. I didn't even see that guy. Was that a little friend? No, my inventory is full! Heck. 
Uh, okay, let's drop some stuff off, I guess. I guess we should have gone to the museum and gotten rid of that little fishy. How did I... Where was my path? Heck. Okay. I kind of think today is going to end up being uh, the hanging on the farm day. But tomorrow, we can donate stuff and work on the mines. Tomorrow will probably end up being next episode, because I think after today we'll wrap up for this episode. But let's do a little bit more farm clearing uh, before we go to bed. Oh, I forgot to check this morning if I had full energy. Uh, quick transfer. I guess stone- I guess slime goop can go with the stone stuff, because it's like monster stuff. And then I want my fishy for donating tomorrow. Okay, let's- Let's do some chopping. Oops, that's not my axe. that late it's like not even eight o'clock but it's like getting dark and I, we're listening to like soothing lullaby music so i feel like i should be getting ready for bed okay let's go to bed let's go to bed and wrap it up for today did we put anything in the shipping bin today i don't think we did maybe we should is there anything we can sell maybe I don't know, I feel like I should be keeping like three of everything. <laughs> Maybe that's excessive. I just, I just, I just don't feel like I should sell any of this yet. Maybe I should sell that crayfish. Since we already donated it, let's sell the crayfish. I don't foresee needing a crayfish for anything soon. Uh, where did it go? Water. Crayfish. Let's sell this guy and then go to bed. Alright, go to sleep, go to bed. So that was a good three days. We're on day six now. Ooh, explosive one. Nice, nice, nice. So we have uh, made progress on all of the, the the quests that we had last time. We have a new mining quest. Um, and I guess our next priority will just be working on... <gasps> What's this? What's happening? What's happening? Oh my gosh, okay, I need to save this for next time. <laughs> Our next priority. Uh, wait, is it gonna save? Okay, well, let's watch this because I'm not sure if it'll save. <laughs> let's watch this and the next time we'll be doing whatever this is and the mines and uh, the museum, I guess. Hello? What's happening? You hear a voice but can't make out what's being said. Pengu. Try to focus on my voice. Good, now listen closely. I'm listening. The sacred trees, please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. Oh, those are the things where it's like I couldn't understand what it said, right? Wow. And this was the magical thing that I saw in the, uh, the tower, the community center of town hall, right? Right, right, right? I can't wait to see what the magic is. Touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. Just, just, just the one. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Pengu. You had a strange dream last night. Okay. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me for part two of our Coral Island playthrough. Um, we made three more days worth of progress. Uh, I am really enjoying the aesthetics and the story of this game. I'm looking forward to see what the magic is that we unlocked today. Um, if you like what you see here, I do stream over on Twitch. Um, 
uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash pingucraft. So if you'd like to come say hello to me live, uh, I would love to have you. Otherwise, thank you so much for hanging out with me here on YouTube, and I will see you uh, during our next episode. Take care. Bye.